It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. To those parents who are trying to reach, do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old Nanobot work crew rebuilding this shop. They are really... Oh. I know, Jerry! No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more... What, oh, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a Nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math.
I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! <laughs> Run! Run! Come on, I'm closing the door. Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're going to shut down her turret production line. All right, turn off her neurotoxin and then confront her. Again, though, for the moment, run! Come on, come on, come on. The irony is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever acid. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, look. There's a deer. You probably can't see it. Get closer. The irony is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Oh, what? Come on, how stupid... Oh! Here. Bring in the whole place back. Hurry! Hurry! This way! 